Hey everyone. PBR maps for entities and blocks have become more important in Minecraft thanks to the progress on deferred technical preview and now vibrant visuals. Blockbench has added support for PBR maps in the update 4.12 earlier this year. It supports previewing and editing normal maps, height maps and MER maps and you can even auto-generate some of these based on your diffuse texture. To get started, you just need to open any bedrock model in Blockbench. It can be an entity or block model. Right click your texture and click create material. This will create a material texture group in your textures panel, which includes your main texture as well as a texture set.json file. You can double click the texture set file to edit it. Uh, for example, you can define uniform values for metalness, emissive roughness and subsurface scattering. But let's go ahead and create a texture now instead to have more control over it. Uh, you can right click the material and click generate PBR map. Let's just create a height map based on the value of our original texture. We can also adjust the input range to get a higher contrast for example. If we do that we can see that we have now generated the height map but there's no preview yet. To get a preview click the view mode selector and select material preview. And just like this you can see the height in the texture. We can fine tune this by going to paint mode and selecting the height map. Hold Alt and click to pick a color and then draw to refine the height map. While you are editing you can see how the height map looks in the 2D editor in grayscale and you can see how it updates in the preview in real time. Ok, let's continue by adding a metalness map. I'll generate one from the saturation of the original texture um, and inverting it. That way the metal frame will have a higher metalness than the wood. Metalness can take the color and brightness out of your material, so for a stylized effect it can make sense to reduce the intensity a bit by reducing the output range. Once again you can manually tweak the texture to your liking. Let's now add a roughness map. Roughness determines how much reflection on the texture are softened. A low roughness creates a shiny smooth surface. Higher roughness softens and reduces reflections. Uh, let's generate another PBR map and set it to roughness. For the source we'll once again use saturation but not inverted to give the wood in the middle a higher roughness. If you now look at the texture from the right angle you can see how the metal frame has quite a shiny reflection while the wood is more rough and doesn't reflect the light source directly. As you can see Blockbench didn't create a new texture file for the roughness map. That's because MER maps are essentially three different PBR maps in one file where the red color channel determines the metalness the green channel determines emissiveness and the blue channel is roughness. To keep these textures in the same file but separate, Blockbench has created a new layer for the metalness texture with an additive blend mode. This means that the blue roughness map will be merged onto the red metalness map and create a combined MER texture. You can also add another layer for emissiveness as well. What this means is that each layer can be toggled on or off or edited separately. In case you already have an MER texture and you want to edit an individual channel, uh, you can just click image and then split RGB channels into layers to get these layers back. What you can also do to get a better idea of how your material will look in Minecraft, you can open the viewport menu and select a preset from preview scenes. You'll be able to see more accurate lighting and reflections of the surrounding in smooth materials. Ok, once all edits to the PBR textures are done, just press the save icon next to the texture set file and the textures respectively, save them in the same folder as your texture and you're good to go. Now all you need is a PBR enabled resource pack and you can load up the material and check it out in game. Uh, you can see the shadows in the height map and the reflections on the border. And here's how it looks with vibrant visuals enabled. You can see the shadows and reflections are now pixelated, but overall the effect is still the same. So here's another example where I've added an emissiveness map using the green color channel. And here's how it looks in game at night. You can also add subsurface scattering, although that effect can't be tested inside Blockbench. But here's how it looks in game. You can see the light shining through the back of the block. So yeah, that is PBR editing inside Blockbench in a nutshell. Make sure to check the video description for more info. Thanks for watching!